In good health tonight, as baby boomers age, more Americans are finding themselves in a caregiving role. But is your family preparing for that possibility? Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with more on the discussions that can make the aging process a little easier on everyone. Doc? Yeah, Jason and Kimberly, you know, I cannot emphasize the importance of this enough. In the ER, there is a huge difference between the families that have clearly discussed these difficult issues in advance and those that have not. And as tough as it is, it's a conversation that really needs to be had and not just once. Joyce Mitchell loves the movie theater in her retirement community. I enjoy it immensely. The 86-year-old moved there after her husband Roger passed away in 2013. I didn't want to shovel the snow and I didn't want to mow the grass and, you know, all the basic housekeeping things. Over 57 years of marriage, Roger and Joyce traveled the world together, but they also talked about where they'd like to live when that time came to move. They were probably in their early 70s when they started talking about it seriously and visiting places. They had some health issues, but it wasn't looming. It's something geriatrician Dr. Carly Urban recommends. None of us, you know, early on, unfortunately, kind of know what the future holds, but there are certain things that all of us really need to do. It's important to make living arrangements and get your legal paperwork in order before there's a crisis situation. I encourage people to look at it not so much as a depressing thing to do, um, but, but more of a great way to make your wishes known to your loved one. So um, I encourage people to sit down and just say, hey, what's important to you? Um, what would you like? For the Mitchells, having those discussions paid off. I think she took to it so well and so quick that I never did worry about her here. And I saw her happy. Now, it's not just where an aging relative wants to live. You also really need to discuss what kind of care they want, creating a living will, and discuss any other concerns that are important to them. Many families basically just wait until it is too late, and that makes the situation so much more difficult on everyone involved. I know I see it all the time in the emergency department. Mm -hmm. Families who have never had this discussion, suddenly they're faced with a crisis, and everyone is scrambling with different opinions. That's right, and it's a difficult dis uh, discussion yeah. to have, too, so a lot of times people don't want to even bring exactly. it up. Exactly, you know? but, but you, you need, need to know what your loved one wants to have in advance. You really do. not have that for the first time in the middle of a crisis. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. All right, Doc.